So once you've set your rollovers up inside your page so that you get your rollover effects such as the ones you're seeing here, you then want to set your page up, this page we have here, as what is called a master page. And we do that by going to pages and then just right clicking here and setting it as a master page. And it's a good idea to actually name this your master page as well. Once you've done that, okay, you can then duplicate that page over and over again until you've got enough copies of that page to cover the various links that you've got on there. Now, it's important to note that your home page okay, is not your master page. So you need to make sure that you do have a page which will be your home page. So you name these pages as well, and you'll find that will really help you to actually remember which page is which when it comes to actually editing those pages. Once those pages are named, you're then ready to start going through and filling them in with information. Remember, we can show or hide slices on a page using these two little icons here in the web section. I normally keep them hidden when I'm working so that I can actually keep an eye on what the whole page is going to look like.